Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So 2020 has approached us. How is everyone doing? Let me know. I'd like to hear. Have you sorted out some of your New Year's resolutions? Have you got any? Um, mine is probably just to try and build up my following on social media basically. So I've got my own little side thing. So I'm a local makeup artist um, and that's basically my passion. So today's look um, probably looks a little bit strange, I've only got one eye done, but this is what I'm going to be creating. So I've had a lot of people asking me recently if I could do a tutorial on my most recent um, smoky eyes. And seeing as though I've done a lot with black, I sort of thought I'd try and change things up a little bit and use a lot of browns. But I did love and still do love this turquoise color. It's from the Focalure palette. I absolutely love this color. I'll use it any opportunity I can. And today, it's that day. So what we're gonna do, I'll try and zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see what's going on over here. And we'll get started. Nice and close for you. So, first of all, we're going to prime our eyelid. And today, like I always usually do, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I usually go for this one mostly because it's a light color. It is a really good base. Um, it really makes those colors pop and it's really easy to work with. So I'm basically just gonna pop that all over the eye. And also usually I do my foundation last um, after I do my eyes because you see this happening right here? She creases real bad. But I wanted to give a final look once I was done and not have to go off and do all of that once we're finished, so fingers crossed. Um, so next we're just going to set it down and I'm just going to set it down lightly with a colour from the Focalure palette. So basically I'm just going to use uh, this colour here that is Sandy Beach. It's a nice pale colour and like I said especially for my eyes because they're so, or my skin I should say, it's so pale. It's going to just match the rest perfectly. So yeah, I'm just slightly setting that down basically. She ain't going to go anywhere. So next of all, I'm going to go in with my Huda Booty. Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remaster Palette. I really love this palette mostly for the nudes. Uh, so like your matte colours and things like that. They're really easy to blend with. They're really easy to work with. Nice and smooth. The shimmers and glitters, they can typically be a little bit harder. Um, you do have to use your fingers a lot more. You just don't pick up that much either using a dry brush or a wet brush. Doesn't seem to matter too much. But first of all, I'm going to go in with this deep shade here and that is called Coco. And that's going to be the start of my smoky. You see that? Fall out. Already. Mm. So basically I'm just going to pat that down. I'm not concerned about it looking beautiful and smoked out just yet because I am going to actually just smudge that out once I'm done. So I'm just bringing that up a little bit. I have to you guys probably already know this. I have to bring it up a little bit higher than the normal person just because my eyes are so heavily hooded you can't see shit. So like I said just bringing that one up just take your time you know no one's in a rush when they do these sort of looks so just take your time pat it out where you think you want it and then glow in with your clean brush. I'm using the Morphe M573 and it is going to be my brush that I just sort of blend out those edges just to make them less harsh and I will actually go back in and pack that brown back on again and what that'll do is just deepen those colours because I am blending it out I 
ignore that, something just fell outside because of the wind. Um, so next I'm going to go in with a lighter colour and I'm going to use the sandalwood, this one down here. So I'm trying to not use too many palettes so you guys might find it a little bit easier to recreate at home. I find if I go through and use a lot of different palettes you're kind of like, well, I don't have all those. But in saying that, any smoky eye, use whatever colour you like, you don't have to follow to exactly what I'm doing here. This is just a guideline. Have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way for makeup. It's all about just being creative. And like I said, having fun. And just, you know, playing with it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy how that's blended out so far. So what I might do is just go back in, like I said, with that cocoa shade, so the really dark brown, and actually just pack on that little bit again, just to make sure I'm building up that definition between where the cut crease is going to go and where I want that shading. And again, just blend it out a little bit. Blending, blending, blending. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Now you can go in with eye primer and just cut your crease. I do find it smudges a fair bit more than actually going in and wiping away a little bit of that brown first. And that way you do get that really, really nice clean base for whatever color you're going on top. So I've just gone in and I've dabbed a little bit of my micellar water on this one. And um, this might actually go off camera a little bit because I'm just going to pull up a mirror. But we'll give it a go. And I'm just going to sort of cut that crease a little bit. And then I just use the other end of my cotton bud. Basically just to clean off any last little bit that's there. So she's looking a bit funky at the moment. So now I'm just going to go in with my eye primer again and I'm just going to cut that crease on a little um, concealer brush again and basically just fill in, see that? Just filling in where I've just taken off all of that eyeshadow. And again this is just going to help make those colours pop because I'm creating a nice clean base again. And don't be actually too overly concerned if she's not perfect. You can actually go in and fix it, believe it or not. A lot of people feel that they have to get it perfect first go. It ain't going to happen. Well, I mean, it can, but it's, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult. So yeah, now that's on. Like I said, I'm just going to go back in and sort of define that crease again. So I'm going in that, and I didn't actually put any extra on. But that brush I used for the cocoa shade, which is a really dark shade, I'm just going in and basically just cutting that line again with the eyeshadow. And that just helps it give uh, sharper edges and things like that. So, moving on to my favourite colour. I'm just going to get rid of this. It, it is absolutely annoying the shit out of me. Of course she's going to smudge. I'm going to have to fix that up in a minute. Okay. So again, going back in with my Focalore palette. So what I'm actually going to use, and it's called, it's just called turquoise. So I'm going to go in with this matte colour here. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to use that to create the base. And what that does is it just helps... Uh, the shimmer and everything stick to it without it creasing and things like that. So I'm just going to go in with that one. Like I said, create that base. You don't have to use a heat. It's basically just filling it in. And then the next one I'm going to use is Mermaid Tears. And that's this one here. So this is the really shimmery, glittery colour. I'll show you what it's like with a brush. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not great either. So yeah, what I usually try to do is just go in with my finger, just like that, 
and actually just place that on. And what that does is it just really builds up that colour. Like you can instantly see the difference already. So then I'll just go back in with that brush and just get right to those edges to make that cut crease. Cut, baby. Mm -hmm. I love that colour. Alright, so again, going back in with cocoa for what would seem like maybe the third or fourth time. But we're just going to basically pat on the edge just for that smoky effect. Um, so that's basically, well, I suppose we could do the lower lash line now. Usually I don't, like I said, just because I don't have my foundation or anything on just yet. But we'll go in the lower lash line. And I'm just going to pop, actually I probably should have showed you. I'm just going to pop that really light brown that I used over the top there. So it was sandalwood from the Huda Beauty panel. And I'm just going to pop that underneath and that's just going to smoke it out. By the way, I'm just going to mention if you can kind of hear chattering in the background, it's my kids. No matter how many times I ask them to be quiet, it, ain't, it, it, it doesn't work. So yeah, that's what the little chattering is. Oh, I'm so blessed. So now I'm just going to go in with, oh shit I nearly dropped it, a little smudging brush like this one here. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that colour, that blue colour actually, um, the turquoise, the non-glittery colour. Pop a little bit of that on and sort of just place it close to my lower lash on and that's just going to give it a bit of colour because my eyes are so heavily hooded you don't see as much as that beautiful colour as I want to so just by having a little bit down the bottom it sort of gives you that idea that that's what I'm going for so next I'm going to go in with some mascara um, to be honest this isn't a mascara that I reach for all the time just because I actually find it's a little bit clumpy um, it doesn't really I suppose give the volume that it claims it should um, but I need to use it up sorry Rimmel but that's it there so it's the Rimmel Wonder Lux Volume Mascara so basically I'm just going to give my top lashes a really light coat I do have longer lashes in case you aren't aware um, I do, yeah, I sort of mention this quite a bit throughout my videos just because I don't typically wear, um, I don't typically wear false lashes anytime because my lashes are long enough already. But yeah, so I'm just going to go in and give my top lashes a coat, my lower lash on, just a little coat, doesn't have to be over the top because my lower lash lines are long too. Um, and then I'm going to pop on some lashes, so I actually didn't bring the box out, but I'm using the Nakia Joy lashes and I'm pretty sure these are called Erin, so I'm going to go in with them, I really like these ones, they suit my eye perfectly, like I said, I have long lashes as it is, so I don't need anything over the top or I'm just going to hide everything that's there, so these are quite flirty, but I suppose the lashes are still quite um, minimal. I suppose and they are longer in the middle which will give more of an open eye look for my type of eye so bear with me let's get these glued up is anyone else dying over this blue I know, I know it's a dupe from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette that's kind of what Focalure are but in saying that Focalure, even though I, I can't get it locally or within Australia, I have to order it from overseas, it's still cheaper and the quality of the colours are still second to none, to be honest. 
I mean, they are beautiful. Like, you just look at that blue and you can see straight away. Okay, welcome back. So I've just got the other lash on now and I'm just about finished my look. So last thing I'm going to do is actually pop on some eyeliner and I'm going to go and tie in with the blue that's happening and use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. So this is kind of the same sort of colour that I'm using as the base, uh, but it's just beautiful, it lasts, it's really bright, it just shows everything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of just finishes off the whole look. So, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. And I hope this sort of helps you guys with your smoky eye looks. Um, I know sometimes it can be difficult and daunting, especially if you're going in using blacks. Blacks can be a little bit nerve wracking. You can't take it off as easily, you know? Like, it's on there, work with it, you overcommit, too bad you're in for the long haul so basically let's send you guys back out hope you guys like it let me know if you do or let me know if you want to see something else um i've got a pretty cool setup here now i'm starting to get in the swing of things so as you know i was fairly new to the scene um, but now I'm sort of getting the feel of how I should be doing things, how it should work, and I'm really starting to enjoy myself. I'm getting out of my comfort zone once upon a time. Mm -mm. You wouldn't see this from me at all. Nope. Not at all. Um, but I'm really thoroughly enjoying it, and the feedback you guys are giving me is just amazing as well. Also, on a quick side note, you're probably aware, but here in Australia we are going through a lot of bushfires at the moment. I am fortunate where I am now, however a couple months ago my house was close-ish, ish, it was still across the road so it's fine, but it was, you know, there was a chance of it getting threatened as well. Um, so just keep, you know, keep your thoughts out there. I'm not going to say you need to donate, I get that. Um, every little bit counts obviously, but I get, you know, people can be in tough situations that, you know, $2 could be two dollars you know that could be something that you need to buy and that's fine I just want you guys to spread awareness for me so that people who are fortunate enough that they can just throw in a little bit are able to do that for us so sorry to end on a sad note but on a good note I hope you all have an amazing week here it is Wednesday so hump day baby I'll catch us later have a good one